In this video, we will learn about one of the very important number formatting options, which is number. Before we get started, let's make sure that we delete the stuff that we entered in our previous video. I'm going to select all these cells together and then press delete. And that will delete all the information in those cells. And also, I want to change it back to the general number format. That's the default format that we studied in the previous video. Now, in, in our case, we want to make sure that the decimal places are shown for each of the prices that we enter here in column D. So if you remember, we were trying to enter 159.00 and then Excel would default it back to 159 because in general number format, it doesn't keep the decimal places if they are just zeros. Now we can change this to number format and it automatically applies the zero zero. And why what it's happening is that by default, when you choose the number number format here, then two decimal places are automatically created. And since this number that we entered was just 159, so it added zeros to the number. And you can see here in the formula bar that the number or the content in the cell, it's just 159, but Excel shows it or displays it as 159.00. Again, keep in mind that the number formatting is all about just how Excel displays the data. It doesn't really change what is actually in the data what is in the data is clearly visible in the formula bar but you can completely control how it's showing up or how it's displayed in your worksheet using the different formats and the number format by default would put two decimal places and let's try again in the next cell d3 but i'm going to type in 750.459 and when i press enter you see that it is still accepting it as 0.459 because it is in general number format. So let's say if I change this to number. And now, interestingly, it only keeps again only two decimal places even though I entered three. And you can see that here, 750.459 is the content, but it rounds it and it only displays two decimal places. That is the default behavior when you choose number number format. Now, so far we have we are entering the data and then going and changing the number format here. We could also, before entering the information, we can actually apply a different number format. For example, I've selected cell D4 and I can go here and then choose number as a format. And what is happening here is that even before we enter the data, we are telling Excel that cell D4 is of the number type. And so please interpret the information that I'm entering into the cell as a number. By default, you would think that it'll only keep two decimal places, correct? So let's see what happens now. Let's say I want to enter the number 250. So I'm just going to enter 250 and press enter. Excel knows that it is of number format because we told that this cell belongs to a number number format. So it automatically adds those two decimal places. And this is us telling Excel before we enter the data, Excel will obey what we chose as the format here. That's something which you have to keep in mind. There are many ways of changing the format. You can either enter the data and then go and change the number format. You could also first change the number format and then you enter the data. My recommendation is if you already know what type of data is gonna be in this column, it's better to actually select the cells, change the number format and then start entering the data. But before we do that, let's try to enter in cell D5 another number. 1275.248. So remember that this cell is still in the general number format. 
and I'm going to enter this number with decimal places. I'm going to hit enter. And now this is interesting because it is it was in the general number format, but it rounded and it only kept two decimal places. And I'm going to click on cell D5 now. And very, very surprisingly, you see that it's of number format. Remember, it was general, but after I entered the data, Excel automatically converted into a number, number format. This is something I want you to understand. Excel always is trying to learn and understand your behavior of entering data in this worksheet. Since we entered number, another number, so Excel tries to help us by detecting that the next thing that we will enter will all also be a number. So Excel will try to help us by automatically assigning that to a number number format based on the previous cells in this column that we have entered. This is usually very handy, but sometimes it can be a problem because you may really want to enter text sometimes after a number. And in such cases, Excel, if it automatically assigns a number, that can be a little bit of a problem, but generally and mostly it's very helpful for data entry because in a certain column, you would usually enter information of the same type. It's not a problem even if you don't want it to auto format because you can always change it. If I want to change this to another currency or whatever number format, I can easily go and change it. So it's not a problem, but it's something which you need to pay attention to. Excel is always trying to understand your pattern of data entry and is going to help you with faster and more accurate data entry. As I said before, if you know exactly what information you're going to enter in a certain set of cells, I would recommend selecting those cells and applying the specific number format that you want to apply. For example, I can select D1 to D5 and you would see that it shows up as general number format and that's because the first cell D1 is still in general number format even though the other cells have been converted to number. But again, now that we have all these cells selected, I can go here and then choose number and now all these five cells have number, number format. You can check that by clicking on D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. All of them are now number, number format with two decimal places as default. So now that we have converted all of these cells in the number format, now we can see that they're all aligned. They all have two decimal places. It's easy to read. It's nicely formatted. Now that is more to the number number format than just two decimal places. So let's learn some of the benefits of converting these cells into the number number format. Let me select cells D1 through D5 again, and then I'm going to use my shortcut control one, and this will bring up the format cells dialog box. And you can also get to this by clicking this small arrow here under the number command area here on the ribbon. I use the control plus one shortcut key because it becomes very, very handy and it's very convenient to do that. And especially if you prefer keyboard shortcuts, then you would probably find this very useful. When I open the format cells dialog box, you can see that number is already selected under the number formats. And it shows the first cell I have in my selection 599.95. And you see here that I have more control over how it's displayed. For example, I can change the decimal places to three and you can see instantly how that will be displayed in my cell if I decide to choose to have more decimal places. So I can, for example, choose three. The next setting that I can change is if I want to show the numbers with the thousand separator. And this is nothing but it'll add a comma like you see here. If my number is 1234, it's going to show 1, 234. That is the thousand separator. For every thousandth digit or unit, it's going to add a comma so that it's easier to read long numbers. 
The next setting and the last one it's available in this option is you can actually control how you want to show the negative numbers. And in this case, we are entering the prices of books, so it is really not going to be negative. But in certain data, the numbers can be negative. And so in such cases, you want to control how the negative numbers are displayed. These are some common methods. Usually you would put a negative sign in front of the number so that it shows it's negative. Or you can choose, for example, the second option here, which is the number would be displayed in the red font. The third option, the number would be shown within parentheses or brackets. The fourth option would be the number would be shown in parentheses and also in red font. So these are the four options you have. You can usually choose however you want to show the numbers in your worksheet. And after you select it, for example, I've selected, let's say these options, I'm going to click OK. And you can see here that every data I have in these five cells now will show three decimal places. And if you have data, for example, here where I have three decimal places, all the three will show. And for example, let's say here I have four decimal places, it's going to round to the three decimal places. Here I have only two decimal places, but it's going to append so that it has three decimal places automatically. So Excel will adjust the data rounding it or it will append zeros so that every data here will have three decimal places. And that's what you can control by using the format cells option and using these settings just the way you would like the data to be shown in your worksheet. So let me close this format cells dialog box. Another thing I want to point out is that Excel can handle up to 15 digits in numbers. What I mean by that is, let me type here instead of that 56789012345. So this is 15, these are 15 digits. And you can't see the entire cell because it's too wide. So I can auto fit so that I can see the entire content. Now, no problems here, 15 digits. You can see all the digits, one, two, three, four, five, and then it appends three decimal places. That's great. But let's say I'm gonna enter 16th digit to this. That would be number six at the end. Please note that. And I'm gonna hit enter. And you know what happened? It just replaces the six with a zero and not just in the display, but actually even in what it stores, it replaces with zero. So keep in mind that it in number number format, it, it cannot handle more than 15 digits. If you enter anything more than 15 digits, it will replace those digits with zeros. So most practical cases, it's not a problem. It's 15 digits usually enough, and there are other ways to work around this limitation but you should be aware that if you're trying to enter, for example, long digits or, for example, credit cards and stuff, it will replace the 16th digit with zero. So please be aware of that. If you're entering information like credit card numbers, it, it's better to be treating them as text number format. Use the text number format in your cell and then type in the 16 digits. Then it will accept that as a text and it will not replace with zeros it will not mess up your data you will and you will get what you entered if it's in the text number format now i'm going to undo this so that i can get back to where i was before let's briefly address another number format here which is a fraction so for example i want to type in let's say 1.25 here this is great, Excel is gonna treat that as a number because we already told that this cell should be in number, number format. But let's say, for example, I wanna change this to a fraction and I can choose fraction from here. Even before you choose a specific option here, you can preview what it will look like if I change this number format. For example, if I choose fraction, I'm going to see one, one by four. And this is something in many cases in schools and some businesses, for example, instead of entering the data in number format with decimal places, they would prefer to display 
as fractions. So instead of 1.250, they would like it to display as 1 1 fourth. So I can just choose this and you can see here that Excel displays it as 1 1 by 4. The data is actually still stored as 1.25 as you can see here in the formula bar. So it's just the display that is controlled by this format. And I can choose control 1 to go to the format cells dialog box where this cell has been chosen as a fraction number format and you can control how many digits and how the fractions can be displayed. So you have options in the fraction setting as well. I'm going to cancel out of this because I don't want to make any changes and I also want to go back to my original setting and I would want to type in my data as it was.